Now then, welcome to Race to the Moon. This mod pack that I'm using is created by Magic Dad 76 Links will be in the description. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Race to the Moon. I've just been uh, sorting all this out in the yesterday's episode, which is like today for me because I'm still recording. Same session. Uh, I've just set this up so that I can store all of my materials that I gain over and above the call of normal mining. And now I'm going to do a quick trick that I hope will work. <laughs> that I hope will work to give me automated smelting stuff. So that I can quickly throw a load of stuff into here to make it smelt. I don't know if this is going to work, to be honest. I don't know. But we shall see. Uh, let's put the block there. There we go. Is that doing it? It's maybe doing it. It's a burnout clock. So it might... It's not going to give a signal straight down, is it? Um, okay, that's not going to work. Let's try... Let's try and do it so it's on here. That's just opened up a doorway to hell, but never mind. It is daylight after all. We should be okay. And let's put that there and that there that should then try and do that bit and then put a bit of redstone on there and that on there that should burn it out nope still not gonna work oh it did it did it it did it it did it, it did it okay so is that gonna be automated enough for me that should reset itself in a bit Should reset itself in a bit. Come on. Okay, maybe not. What do I know? I'm not a redstone genius, am I? I I'm pretty sure it comes back on, though. Let's put it back on like that. That should burn some out. I need some way of resetting it quickly. I'll do a little bit of research on that. Just so that it starts adding in... Yeah, it's adding in the tin there, look. So we're, we're getting the materials in. I just need to uh, work on my redstone method a little bit maybe get some sort of little clock going here just to keep it going see it will just keep it will keep doing it but it's it takes a little bit of a break every now and again which is not exactly what we want is it uh, oh but that looked like a baby skeleton to me <clears throat> it looks like a mini skeleton what hey it did feel like a mini skeleton <laughs> okay well never mind uh, right, so we've got these three seeds to worry about as well. Let's get these guys in place as well. There we go. We'll have carrots and we'll have that. And I will, well, why not make a bit of bone meal grow this stuff? Strawberries. Hmm, yummy. It gives me two strawberry seeds. What? It didn't give me any strawberries. Bone meal in it didn't give me... What? Oh, this game, man. Cur constantly throwing curveballs at you. Constantly throwing curveballs. You never know what you're going to get. Some days modded Minecraft is so simple and everybody knows everything. And then other days, some mod pack maker goes and uh, changes the mod pack in such ways that it's a completely new game to you. I know, I know. Uh, what's, what's in here then? Let's see. We've got two cucumbers and a pumpkin. Well, I may as well grow a few pumpkins. You never know when they'll come in handy. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four. Pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. There we go. And everything else can just grow. I've got food. I'm good now. I'm good now. I would like a really healthy supply of food. I don't think I'm going to go fancy on the food because I don't really have time. I'm just going to eat lots and lots of really rubbish food, I think. Um, maybe just carrots and mushroom stews would do me good. Mushroom stew's pretty good, isn't it? Mushroom stew's pretty healthy. Uh, this is doing something. Maybe not today, but it is doing something. Right, and then we want to make a little sheep farm area that I want out here. So, um, I can also use it as part defence, can't I? If I knock these back a little bit, then I can have it as a part defensible area that I can also get into reach and things like that. So if the sheep come in from this side, they get stuck in this place here. Now I'm guessing that this hasn't got much of an area. 
I'm I'm only guessing though that it hasn't got much of an area to work from. Maybe I'll put that bit back because it's probably a three by three or something, isn't it? So uh, just keep it clean. And we want the sheep to follow me in over there, and then I want to be able to jump out. And it's kind of going to be defensive as well. Because I can have a gate and stuff there. And maybe just put something across here. Just a little bit of a something something just to defend me even better. I heard something... Don't know what it was I heard, but I heard something go hiss at me. Something hissed at me. What was it? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, I know what it was. I was standing too close to my redstone clock, wasn't I? And it was just uh, pouring out the uh, the goodies. So it's slowly but surely working through the tin. Okay, and yeah, let's make one more tin in there just to bulk that out a little bit. That'll keep going. That'll keep smelting. Okay, so, eating a cucumber. Yummy. Doesn't give you any health back. Well, doesn't give you any satisfaction or satif... Satrific... Yeah, that one. It doesn't satisfy you at all, does it? But, there we go. And now, we're going to have a couple of gates. Uh, or maybe just one gate at a time, because I didn't make enough bits. Oh, come on, the amount of time I'm wasting just doing these uh, little mundane tasks could cost me the race. Let's have two fence gates. There we go. I'm going to defend there and I'm going to defend there so that I've got a kind of a place to uh, hang out and hide. Kind of. Yeah. And I'll take some coal because we can do this here. There we go. Make some torches and light the place up a little bit. Let's use uh, F7. See, uh, okay, I don't have F7 working anymore. Why? I don't know. I'll have to try and fix that if it's a problem. They uh, may come to try and take these torches down, but I don't care. Um, yeah, I think that's a good start. Okay, so we're into day seven. What should I be doing in day seven? I really need to get those sheep, don't I? I really need to get those sheep. Is there anything in here that allows me to pick up an animal and bring it? Mo creatures, maybe there's something in there that I can pick an animal up with, but I don't know what it is. There's mine factory reloaded, but I can't make the uh, safari net. Single-use safari net requires a ball of glue, some string, and some leather. That's potential. That's potential. Have I got some... No, I haven't got any slime. How can I make a slime ball? There we go. How can I make a slime ball or ball of glue? Ball of glue is propolis or congealed or get a raw jellyfish. Okay. I can convert a raw jellyfish into a slime ball. Well, uh, yeah, I, I want to go and capture a sheep and put it in. I don't mind making single-use safari nets to do it, but I definitely need the wool. As we found out last episode, I definitely need wool for making lots of cables and wires and things for Galactic Craft. And I do not know what you are going to do for me. But are there any squid in the water? Not squid, um, eels, jelly, jelly cube eel things. Uh, Pam's Harvest Craft should add them in, but are there any in this river? I'm lucky to be by a river. It'd be nice if there was some things in that I actually wanted, though. That'd be very good. Or maybe a slime jumping around somewhere. Uh, have we got any jellyfish? Doesn't appear to be. I only need one. Just one. Are they deeper down? Uh, there's... Nautiluses. I can't seem to hit a Nautilus though for some reason. There's a lot of Nautiluses. Did you see them? Man, what are they doing? Can I... I can hit them. What do I get? I get a shell. Oh, there's a lot of them down there. They must be doing something to stop the mob cap, I'm telling you. Uh, what do these things do? Empty shell. Uses. No uses. 
Recipe, uses, uses, no uses. All of these fish down here with the empty shells, no uses. Okay, you can hardly see under the water, I know, but... The only other option is to get a sheep to follow me into the pen. Oh, man, or go and find a slime chunk or something. There's got to be another way of making the ball of glue and stuff out of what we've already got. I'm guessing that we can make slime balls and glue from stuff like... Uh, well, glue comes from horses, I know that much. But I don't see anything that I can use to make it. So, well, with the night of the seventh day drawing in, what have we done? We've uh, we've got this ready for whatever happens. And I can put some coal in it. That'll be a start at least. But I still need a sheep before I start thinking about shears and stuff. Um, that does mean that maybe I don't need the door here anymore. Maybe just uh, as a precaution. Just to have something that isn't a block in that doorway just so that I can uh, stop doing that and are we still getting to yeah we're still getting we've got 26 that's pretty good we've had 26 uh, tin come out just from this while I've been working so that's good I like the idea of that um, I'm still not ready to put like um, um, a hopper on the top and start feeding everything in directly I'll still only do it as I need it but at least we've got that kind of collection of stuff and goodies there. Let's throw that in there out of the way. Oh, I forgot to plant the seeds. That was something important that I wanted to do last. Let's go. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Run, run. Plant seeds. Plant seeds quick. Plant seeds quick. Plant seeds quick. Quickly plant seeds. Plant seeds. Thank you. Planted seeds. And run away. Run back again. Okay. Farm's good. Farm's fine. I don't know why I got seeds when I bone meal though. Um, I might have to do another experiment on that today to figure that out. I got a load of bone, didn't I? So I can do that. And I don't seem to be using my... I don't seem to be using my hunger up very much, so I'm not too concerned with that either. Alright, so what are we going to make then to make this single-use safari net? So we've got many... T con congealed blood. Congealed blood. I can just put blood in the smeltery and then pour it out. Uh. Uh. Mm hmm. Ow! How much blood did that put in? Five? Oh my days, that's gonna take me forever. Um. Oh, that's not going to work. That's that's going to take me forever to put congealed blood in there. Um, I, he I heard something dying outside. Oh, well, it's outside. I shouldn't worry about it too much. Let's get up here out of the way so they can't see me. That's going to do the thing over there. Okay, well, as it's night time, let's have a look. Congealed blood I can't do. Slime balls. Pink slime. I can't make pink slime yet. That's well out of the way. Glue is the glue. Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, the blue slime balls, though, unless I find one of those Tinker's Islands in the sky, I don't think I can make blue slime balls. These raw jellyfishes, I haven't been able to find a jellyfish to turn it into slime, and I'm not going to be able to do forestry to do that very quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Congealed blood seems to be one of the only options that I've got. Genatinous slime, that's the stuff from the slimers, yeah. Congealed blood's the only one that I can see doing apart from getting a raw jellyfish. And I can't get a raw jellyfish at this time of night. And I don't think I've seen anything anywhere that's, um, <clears throat> that's uh, Slime Island. So what can I do? Hmm. I'm worried now. I'm worried now that I'm going to get stuck doing nothing most of the night because I'm trying to work on one thing just to get that wool so that I can do the other bits and pieces. Um, also, I know how to get this now. I, I know how to get this. You need a little um, a thing. <laughs> you need a, a refinery type thing. You need to suck up the source block with a special device. That's all there is to it. It's easy enough once you know, but of course I didn't know. Let's see, can I grab all this? Thank you. And all of you. 
you. And all of you. Yes. And all of you. Yes. And all of you. Thank you. And all of you. There we go. Let's uh, scoop all that up. Well, mining's never been so easy. This is uh, this a strange place to be? Yes, underwater? Yeah. Uh, the source block is what you've got to take it from, though. Uh, and you need some empty canisters. And those empty canisters, I think they're made of aluminium. Let's have a quick look at what we've got there. Because, well, I've just picked up these bits and pieces, so may as well. Thank you. I like that. And block it off so that mobs don't spawn in it. So well, let's have a quick look before we're already running on to day eight. Man, I can't believe it's going so fast. It's going... Like, I thought I would be well and truly on my way to making machines by the end of the first week in-game. But no. No, 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 no. The game's got different plans. This mod pack's tougher than it looks. Uh, let's throw that in there. There we go. Mm, healthy enough collection of stuff. Okay, so... <clears throat> scrap that idea for now i will potentially just put some more blood in there every now and again let's not eat through everything let's just have something that's going to satisfy straight away let's just put a little bit more blood in there thank you and one more yeah there we go and that gives us 15 <laughs> <laughs> and we needed tons of congealed blood for that, didn't we? Um, blood. Yeah, we needed 160 blood in it to make one coagulated ball to use as a thing. Man, oh dear. Uh, let's let's go back into Galactic Craft and have a look in here. Uh, this is this is the mod that we need to focus on, really, isn't it? So if there's a tool in here, it's even better. Uh, this is the portable oil extractor and I use that on the crude oil in order to put it into canisters and then it fills the canisters. Why oh why oh why you can't pick it up in a bucket and carry it around in a tank or whatever I have no idea. This is the Galacticraft thing, an oil extractor. You can't bucket oil, you can't barrel oil, you can't put oil in a tank apparently. You've got to use a portable oil extractor to suck it up. I could use a straw, surely. I could I could use my hands. But no, this is what it wants. And so the little bit of redstone we can see. Compressed bronze, compressed steel. Compressed bronze, ingot compressor. That's what we need. An ingot compressor. I think it's just a compressor. I don't think there's an ingot compressor. I think it's just a compressor. Is copper, aluminium, a, an anvil... And a basic wafer. The basic wafer requires a circuit fabricator and diamond level. So just to get basic wafers to start making things, I need to get to diamond level. Crazy. Circuit fabricator. Circuit fabricator is there. Requires the aluminium wire, levers, buttons, everything else that I've got easily enough, but the wool. Which is why this is so important for me to get sheep. Before the end of next week and start getting them to uh, yield wool for me all day a day. And have I got stuck now? Yes, I've got stuck on tin again. I'm going to not worry about that. I'm just going to reset it, let it do its thing again. There. And I'm going to select the iron next because I haven't got enough bronze. I don't want to use the aluminium brass and blood. Well, top it up. A little bit more. Oh, my days. Okay. So, it's getting close to the next day. I'm, I'm kind of ready for the next day just to get on with it. I need, 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 need to get on with finding the sheep. And getting those in place. But I also need this congealed blood or something like to do that as well. Um, have we got canisters in here? That was the other thing I was looking at. Infinite oxygen supply? I doubt I can make that. That's creative only or something. Uh, canister. Well, there's oxygen tanks. There's a tier booster. There's an empty canister. There we go. Empty canister requires the compressed tin and compressed steel. Compressed steel requires steel ingots. Steel ingots requires... Many, 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 many things that I can't produce just yet. Okay. There is another method to get steel. I'm pretty sure of it. 
There's like uh, steel in Galactic Craft as well as steel from there. But we'll have a look at that in another episode because it's just turned 6 o'clock. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to pause the game there so I can get on with day 8 very soon. I hope you're still enjoying the series. I hope you're still rooting for me to get to the moon. I'm, I'm just going to kind of go in leaps and bounds at some point. As soon as I've cracked the wall and then I've cracked the next technical, technologically advanced stage... I am going to go leaps and bounds once I get the machines because I've already got lots of resources and I can easily get more. I've also got to work on getting a diamond. So leveling up my tools is still an important thing as well. Tune in tomorrow, see how we get on. I'll be here. Thank you very much.